and gentlemen, welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss new heroes for update 2.0.0, their skills, their synergy as a team, and how they impact the current meta. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please be sure to subscribe down below. We will start off with Dorka black iron dagger so she is naomi's bodyguard so if you can take a look at her design it's it's pretty much um kind of a assassin type design um spikes everywhere um and all that metal i think i think the the nation the the theme of the nation is uh, is based on on uh, machine type that is why they're designed this way so we will see her skills first her passive uh, focus shot 3 it's it's the regular uh, focus shot 3 so afflicts target with the focus fire mark and decreases dodge block for one round on basic attack so gain mana if target dies while well marked and gain mana if health of target is at 70% or more so again it's it's the same basic uh, thing that that we have for focus shot but the new passive that she has which is kind of interesting is the grace of mana so overtime effect so grants one mana permanently for all allies take note guys it's permanently so that's every every turn your hero gets so this i think is going to be a game changer again and we will have to see on how it affects the the meta the same way um um iris affected the meta i think she's going to have a big impact in a similar way her third passive is this is brand new this is soul bond grants allies with less attack than self with the soul bond mark and heals 30% of missing health every turn reduces magic damage taken by 30% again this is this is a unique skill new one which gain gives gives synergy to people who have soul bond um, it g gives them heal and it reduces magic damage and i think dorka will just because of her passive skill will have a big impact in the meta that's that's my opinion of course but based on her passive alone she is a must get so next is her s1 black iron storm deals 63 percent damage to all enemies so over time, afflicts target with bleed, dealing 39% damage every turn for two turns. So again, a very good, a very good two mana skill. And her S2 piercing darkness deals 367% piercing damage to one en enemy. Also a very good skill for S2. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of? her skills and her passive at first glance do you think she will she will be or she will carve a big piece in the meta or she will just supplement the existing characters in the meta so please comment below your uh, your comments and um, please comment on on if she is a must get or must skip for you our next hero is Naomi so is she's the queen of Brun so her design is a bit more formal but I like her design it's it's kind of unique than the current um, characters that, that, that we have already so from what I think Naomi is is a tank or a defender so let's start off with her passive um, she has block three the same block three that we usually have so afflicts all enemies with provo provoke if an ally takes damage 
and its health drops to 30% or less and grants heal over time to self that heals 20% of attack every turn for 5 turns. Gain mana if own health is 20% or less than tr when triggered and gain mana if own health is 70% or more when triggered. And her unique passive, uh, which is rigid body, becomes immune uh, from from to damage from share health if effect if affected with soul bond. So when Dorka gives her soul bond, she is immune to damage from share health. So share health is in her second skill, which will be which we will go in a while but her s1 is proof of determination so for a two mana two mana scale and deals it deals damage of 375 percent to one enemy so this is actually good for a two mana scale and again her millennial light which is her s2 increases her own maximum health by 37 percent for eight turns buff increases own defenses by 37% for 8 turns and share health with all allies for 16 turns again share health is is distributing your own health to your allies um, going back to her passive which is rigid body uh, this will also be one of the most interesting skills that I've seen in these new characters because we haven't had any immune characters immune to damage characters in share health yet so i think when paired with dorka they are really a force to be reckoned with um i'm a bit uh, i'm a bit um, hesitant to say that they're going to change the meta but definitely they will try to but before that, we have to go to the third hero or character, which is Clock. So his name is Clock, so he's Naomi's agent. And if you look at his design, it's it's one of the designs that I've seen before that uh, caught my eye. And it's number one, it's also unique. It's it he looks like a necromancer actually, if you if you if you recall. And uh, based on on how he looks like, um, he is a bit a bit yeah. Ne he's like a necromancer. So that's it. So I thought he was a necromancer before he came out. So anyway, let us continue on to his skills. So we will discuss first his passive. Again, so he is mana absorb 3, so removes buff of an enemy and gain 1 mana. Gain 1 mana, additionally, if health of target is at 80% or more, remove 1 mana the target has and then gain 1 mana to self if health of target is at 30% or less. And his next passive, which is again a unique passive, absorb soul, heals... 100% of all damage uh, from from damage over time effects on all enemies if, if affected with soul bond. Again, um, the trio or or the trinity of heroes has a theme of kind of defensive type. They one negates negates damage because of damage damage immunity. This one heals at 100%. Uh, over time but it only covers damage over time effects but still um, they 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 have they have this synergy that um, plays off each other so that is why it is crucial on how how you have these enemies uh, sorry how you have these heroes and how you pair them with other two characters let's say for example if you bring them in pvp you have to consider the other two two characters that you're going to bring with them but um, um i think they will they will have they will disrupt the current meta i say disruption because i'm not sure yet if if they will take over the current meta but i'm sure they will be disruptive enough that 
they will be um, they will be used by some of the players so again my thoughts on 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 them in the meta I think they are a must must get I'm I'm excited for the game to have new heroes because it's it, it has been a while since the game has introduced new heroes number two um, their skills are a bit unique especially their passive um, and also their their design is also unique um, I think it will take time uh, for them to have an impact on the meta especially if you don't have all three so maybe in the next video or in a future video I'll be able to showcase all three of them and um, discuss how they play off each other and discuss um, how effective they are in the current PvE and PvP situation so that's it folks let me know what you think in the comments below whether you agree with me or disagree with me let me know so you all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video